Hello everybody, my name is Zero and today we're going to be reviewing or checking out the Apex Predators new vehicles that are coming out for each tech tree. So this video will be a pretty long video, but don't worry, this will I'll try to make it as quick as possible. So for America Tanks, we have ourselves the new M728, it's a premium vehicle and uh, it's quite interesting now. It comes with an M123 hash round with 203 pen from all angles and all range. So it comes with some NVD, some night vision, and it comes with a, a dozer blade as you can see. So um, let's check it out. I'm just gonna go in, shoot at something, then leave to check it out. Ah, shoot, I can't hear audio. So uh, for me, my audio is a little messed up because it's set to, there you go. All right. Now, let's see, does it come with a range finder? I heavily doubt that it does. Come with a range finder. No, it does not. So it's 200. Bang. Ooh. The shots look different. <laughs> no, it's got very long reload time. Um. Yeah, it's got a very long reload time. Whole armor, it's, let's see, it's got some pretty good armor and it's a 7.0 battery rating. So this tank is gonna be facing probably Germany for the most aspect part. It's gonna be facing the new, the like, low tier leopards. And most of the time these leopards are probably gonna be equipped with the best armor. So, I mean, face to face head on, if you're angled, it's gonna be some pretty difficult pen. I mean, this got some pretty good armor, but more than likely they might also have this equipped. So this will be some pretty dangerous stuff. But uh, obviously, you know, how fast is it? It goes 48 kilometers an hour. Not bad. And it's got a reloading rate of 27. That's yeesh. 7.0, but only Hesh rounds. So that, that's going to be interesting. I guess we have the new premium M1128, it's Wolfpack, and it comes with some cool looking netting camo for it. It's got 7 seconds of reload, some nice arm penetration, bad armor because it is a combat vehicle. Um, it does come with some M833s. So that's going to be nice. 395, 395 millimeter of pen. And it's got a battle rating of, uh, what was it? 9.7. That is all for American tanks. There's no helicopters. I believe that there is not going to be any helicopters for each tech tree. Um, as the moment, obviously there is going to be more stuff added because, uh, Dev server does update as well and adds like newer stuff. Not everything is here. Just like a, so yeah, I'll get to it. But this is the PT812 coastal boat. Um, pretty nice for our, all the people who do, you know. Man, I'm having a tough time talking. <clears throat> for people who do uh, naval battles. Um, so that should be uh, pretty interesting. And now saving the best for last of the American tech tree currently actually we have the a6e tram intruder uh, I'm not going to test fly it because I want to you know Save some time, but this is a premium pack and it's got a battle rating of 10.0 It does come with some aim 9 G's and some aim 9 L's. So that is pretty good um, Comes with some nice GBU 10s some GBU 16s and GBU 12s. Has some cannons, rockets, napalm, more rockets, bombs, 2,000 pounds, a couple pounds. So it does come with some pretty good amount of pounds of bomb bombs. And then the penetration with, uh, you know, its penetration with its cannons is not that bad. It's uh, pretty fast. So 644 kilometers an hour. At sea level, so it turn time is 29 seconds with a rate of climb of 25.5. This is going to be a heavy target at 10.0, knowing all that. So that might cut some slack for the A10 because the A10s got 
got a new competitor and the a10 has um i don't know if they already have done this but uh the A10 has lost some penetration. I believe it used to be in the hundreds. Now it's at 93. So the A10 did lose um, some penetration for its cannon. For its, uh, you know, its nice Gal 8 cannon. Which sucks. But it still has the 480 flares. Next, saving the best for last. Uh, we have our rank 8 vehicles. F-14 at rank 8 made some more sense, but now we have the newest unexpected jet, the F-16A. I was not expecting this jet at all. I was expecting like the F-15 before the F-16, but I'm glad that we have this one. So obviously it's going to come with some nice stuff. It's going to be carrying some six AIM-9Js and six AIM-9Ls. But I believe in the future it will be able to have more stuff. And uh, it obviously carries only two AIM-9Js in this one. And it does come with some bombs. So you can do some striking, strike aircraft stuff. Which will be pretty nice with the F-16. I cannot test fly it sadly. I wish I could. Gaijin, please make it so you can test fly non-unlocked research vehicles. Because I would love to test fly researchable vehicles that you cannot like unlock. So like obviously this one I'm currently researching. I can test fly. This one I can't research and I can't test fly. I want it to be so I can test fly it. Or test fly this. Test fly this. Like how you can with premium vehicles. And next on to Germany. Which I believe it doesn't really have much. I don't think or it did get a tank, I believe. It got... Oh, oh, it didn't. I'm sure Germany will get a tank in the future. Helicopters, obviously. I'm not going to check any helicopters because there is no new helicopters. Now for aviation, I don't think Germany got much. Except for the MiG-21 Lazur M Premium MiG-21. It's a battle rating of 11.0, but it does come with some pretty nice stuff. So it comes with some R13s, some R3Ss, it comes with R3Rs, which will be some nice missiles, and it comes with some pretty nice R60 MKs. And obviously it comes with these nice payloads, it comes with napalm, or incinerary bombs, incendiary bombs, but this jet is 11.0, it's a MiG-21, obviously. Um, there is no like F-16 or uh, Panavia Tornado, but it is said that Germany will get, I believe, the Panavia Tornado. And now it's got some nice... Oh yeah, I forgot. It comes with a premium Blue Water Fleet um, battleship, the Z-47. And that is about it. It's got some pretty nice penetration to it, I believe. No, it doesn't. It's actually... I think this one is just a machine gun thing. 4.7. So it should be pretty good at 4.7. And it comes with a Coastal Fleet V990, V990, 990. Interesting. All right. I believe that is it for everything else. Coastal Fleet for Russia. I believe Russia did not get many boats. I believe it got yes it did it got the i'm gonna butcher that name so i'm not gonna say it but uh yeah there's a nice battleship all right and army i believe did the ussr get a new tank it did it got the strata 10 m2 it's the first of its sam missiles coming to the game this is Oh boy, this uh, is going to be some interesting and fun stuff to go against in uh, Russia. But uh, it comes with some SAM missiles at 9.3. That's not going to be its battle rating for much longer. Knowing, oh uh, boy, yeah. I mean, it's probably going to be moved and bumped up to 10.0, knowing Gaijin. But uh, yes, that is the Tunguska. All right, uh, I'm saving the best for last. Obviously, the uh, MiG 29 913. 
9-13. And uh, this is a beautiful jet. Now the MiG-29 comes with some pretty nice penetration for its cannon. It comes with the 30mm Gushka. I believe it's Gushka cannon. Right? I don't want to butcher it. It's GSH. I'm guessing that's Gushka. I don't know. Alright, but it comes with some nice R60Ms. And it comes with a new top tier and dangerous missile, but it's easy to flare off, I believe. The R73s, it's uh, got 40 Gs of maximum overload. So it can turn out of some pretty good turn rate, and I'm sure you can carry more. It comes with some R27Rs, which will be crazy to go against, and some R27Ts. Also R60Ms as well, I already said that. All right, it comes with some nice payload. I'm sure it will come with more once the depth server does, obviously. Um, obviously, you know, upgrades. Next, we have its new premium pack, MiG-23 ML. I am, yes, this is it. Um, 23 millimeter Gushka cannon. Obviously, if I order it, it'll be 70 bucks, which I believe is a scam, but, uh, I'll probably still buy it if I wanted to replace my MiG-21 that I currently have. Uh, but it comes with some R60s, R24Rs, 24Ts, and uh, r 13 So the one that I'm going to be using a lot is probably, probably the R24Ts or R60Ms. So that's going to be a fun jet to be using. Um, I'm wondering if my jet got anything, any good stuff. Just some R3R still. Alright, so it's still the same jet. Next up we got Germany. Germany, ah, oh, Jesus. The next up we have Great Britain. Uh, it comes with a uh, new tank, the Khalid. Which I believe is a Chieftain. Yes, this I believe this is a Chieftain. It's a premium tank. And uh, it comes with some pretty good pen at its battle rating of 9.0. It does not come with uh, APF SDS. Why am I still checking uh, helicopters? Uh, no battleships, no coastal fleet, I believe. But next up, we have aviation. We have a long awaited. Oh, yeah, yes. I forgot. The Sea Harrier. Um, this was shown in the trailer when it was getting shut down by the MiG-29, the Sea Harrier FRS-1. Uh, the Sea Harrier does come with some upgraded uh, missiles. It does not come with the SAMs, but I'm or the SRAMs, but I'm pretty sure it'll get more than just these missiles. It comes with some nice AIM-9Ls, so that's going to be fun to use with the Harrier and some AIM-9Gs. But now for the long-awaited for Jet, the Tornado GR-1. This jet's pretty nice. It's a swept wing aircraft. I believe this is the first of the British. But it comes with some AIM-9Ls and some nice bomb loads. This is just the same bomb load. Oh wait, no. They're different bombs though. But the same amount of bomb load. Okay, so these are some LDGEBs. So obviously these are better. <laughs> All right, interesting. Um, but yeah, there's the Tornado. It's a nice aircraft. It's a very nice aircraft, but it comes, oh, I forgot. It comes with the premium F4J UK Phantom 2. And uh, this will be some fun to use. This is a good, this is a good plane to get if you want to grind out the British tech tree and get that nice Tornado. It comes with some Skyflash dogfight, air to air missiles. And some AIM-9Gs. I believe it comes with AIM-9Ls. No. But it comes with AIM-70 Sparrows. Some Skyflash Dogfire Airs. And AIM-9Gs. I believe that's its final payload. But if you do want to get the British Tech Tree all done, I would suggest either the Harrier with its SRAMs with its uh, SRAMs and its pretty decent bomb payload or its 
or the F4 J. But if you have the budget, if you don't have the budget for the F4, I would suggest you get the Harrier. I don't think the Lightning comes with some. It comes with some red top air to airs and fire streak air to airs. But I mean, it's a good battle rating of 9.3. So if you have the budget, I suggest you either get the Harrier GR1 or the Lightning. I got the Harrier. But if you have the budget, I would suggest you get the F4 Phantom. As the Phantom is your best option if you want to grind out the tech tree. Now Japan, I don't believe, got anything really. It did get some sub 1-2, I believe. This is a anti-air. And uh, let's see, I don't think it comes with radar. It does not come with radar, but it comes with some DM-63 APDS. Uh, so this will be... Uh, like a BMP2 at a that battle rating. Um, it does not come with any aviation yet, but there is going to be a F4 Phantom Premium coming to the game. I forgot what it's called, but it'll be coming to the game soon. It's just not there yet, but it has been confirmed. Um, it did not come with any ships, I believe, so we can move on to China. China. Did not get anything really. It did get a WZ 1001 with some nice armor, a 5.5 ERA, and it did come with some nice pens. Obviously, it'll be protecting you pretty well, but it did come with some good penetration. It came with some rockets and the DTC 10 125 with 577 millimeter of pen. At max obviously uh but that is it and uh aviation it should be coming uh the f-16 i believe there is going to be an f-16 for china in the taiwan tech tree so or the republic of china tech tree but it did come with a j7d premium they are pl7s with 35 g's a maximum overload some pl5s and some pl2s so Obviously, this one's going to be the most used, and it does come with some pretty nice bombs. Yeah. But the F-16 will be down the F-5E route, so... As I'm going to come back to America... And, uh... If you have not... Because, uh, I know a lot of people are going to be a little mad... If you did not get... If you're not buying the A-6E, you will have to grind out the whole of America tech tree on this. You would have to grind the whole thing, which is not that bad. Actually, it's terrible. You have to grind out the whole thing. It's probably going to take you a couple months if uh, at most. I mean, for me, obviously, this is a great gap because you don't have to research these in this. But if you're like me and haven't been grinding out this stuff, you're going to have a pretty tough time getting to the F-16. And if you just started, I suggest that you get this stuff going as well. But uh, I suggest what you do is focus on this and bombers. Because that'll help you. But also I suggest you do this and this to get that A-20. So that you can go down this route and get the A-7E. So that also you can get these and get the F-14 and F-16. But for me, obviously, I have to research all of this. Now, dev server, I have all this stuff. I've researched all this in dev server. I'm actually I'm at the P-63. So I have to basically research all of this stuff and I have to go. You have to research this, this a whole thing. Basically, you have to get to rank 7 to get to the F-16, which sucks. But uh, yeah, back to, uh, I believe, Italy. And it came with uh, a truck anti-air CM-52. It's a truck. Yes. You can now be UPS, because that's what the colors remind me of. UPS. War Thunder did add some pretty nice looking uh, new video stuff. 
I believe that's it for Italy's tanks. It did not come with anything, and it did not come with aviation either. Oh no, yes, it came with the premium F-104S TAF. This is a premium jet that you should get. Uh, you should probably get it. <laughs> I'm suggesting you get it. It does come with some nice AIM-70 Sparrows, which is good. AIM-9Vs, no one cares, and AIM-9Ps, which are going to be fine. But the most used missile I would suggest is the AIM-7E. You should probably also put a cannon on that. And this will get you to tier. So, uh, in the files, are, I believe that someone earlier said that... What is it? That... Italy will get the F-16 or the Panavio Tornado, whichever one comes first. And, uh, yeah, it did come with a battleship, I'm not even going to say this name, the Aranduca Degli Abruzzi. I'm guessing that's what it's called. It's for the Kingdom of Italy. Yes, the Kingdom of Italy, 1944. Did not come with any ships. France. It is not getting much it is getting more tanks and more stuff but remember as i said before that this is not all of this stuff that is coming out in this update this is some of it there is more stuff coming i forgot what tanks are coming but this is the amx 32 105 you guys come with some apf sds i think i said aps fds really but, uh, yeah, I believe that is it for Italy. It did not come with any aviation. Actually, I think it... No. Nah. But, uh, it will come with probably the Navy Tornado or the, uh, F-16. And if it does come with the F-16, I'm sure the F-16 will be down this route and the Tornado will be down this route. I believe. Because the Vature is down this route. But F-16, the Tornado might be down this route. But if... I were to speculate which tech tree the Oof, man which uh lineup the F16 is going to be going down I believe it'll be going down the F100D saber route and it'll be with the Mirage 2000 uh Sweden I don't know if anything is coming for Sweden it did come with T55M for the Finland area and it did come with a... No, it did not come with a jet. Or anything. Nothing's really coming for Israel. I don't think anything army. Or anything army wise. The Magok 7C is coming. I believe this stuff is... I thought this stuff was a... It must be smokes. Yeah, smoke launchers. It does come with some nice pen, uh, the M426. Oof, it's my ankle. But Israel is getting the F16A nets, and uh, this will be the F16 for Israeli. It'll also come with the same cannon, and I believe it'll be coming with somewhat of the same missiles, but I believe It'll probably get the same stuff that the F-16 is getting, but a little less. And now the premium tech tree, if the premium jet, if you want to grind out Israel, you don't, I mean, it's not really necessary because nothing's good. It's all copy paste on, I mean, there is good stuff like the Kiffer, which is a Mirage, but uh, it's coming with a Kiffer canard. It's, a, it's smaller than the others. I believe it's smaller than the others, but it comes with AIM-9Gs and AIM-9Ds. And I believe that is it for the tech tree for Apex Predators. Um, I'm going to probably go back to my grind to the F-16. And I might not get it before dev server ends because I have to get this and this, which will be great because I'm close to getting this. All this stuff, which would be great because I'm almost done. Now that'll be two out of five. And then I have to get this, which I'll probably work on this first before I get to this one, which probably, it'll go by quick in the beginning. 
It'll go by quick in the beginning until I get to the AM1 and then I'll start to slow down a bit and be a little painful. So, uh, yep. All right. This has uh, been your favorite uh, low budget quality. Yeah, you know what? This has been the video. Um, no, there's the AA10. I've been using the F105D Thunder Chief. Love this plane. Love it. It's a great bomber or well strike aircraft. And if it was a bomber and did have the bomber roll, it would have been it would be too overpowered. But uh, I love this thing. It is the best for me grinding out this tech tree. I mean, I'm averaging almost about 40,000 per game. So we'll, and uh, it's giving me that nice time five bonus. So obviously times five of 45,000, I'm going to be getting 9,000. And for this, barely anything for this. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to get three, 2,000 for this. 72,005. I mean, what's 72,000 divided by five? Which is, I'm um, probably going to get like rounded up. I can find my calculator because honestly everybody wishes the grind in war thunder was like this quick and easy where you don't have to struggle even though it is painful that is times five not divided by 284 284 divided by five i'm gonna be getting about fourteen thousand, uh which is pretty good and this was, I believe, I believe that was three bases. So thing I do is two bombs, one base, one bomb for the base. Come back around. The missiles are to protect myself because I'm not a I'm a defensive with this jet. I like to be a defensive fighter. And uh, yeah, this will be very good to use. Oof. Can't wait to use that. But uh, yeah. All right, I will see you guys in the next video once I get the F-16, which will probably be a while. And um, yes, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.